What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJA TV. Before we get into today's video, I want to thank every single one of you that took the time to watch yesterday's video. I really, really appreciate it. We have had a very, very, very productive day. Productive calls, productive emails, all that kind of stuff, sorting out the very foundations of the business. So drop this video a like. If we hit 100 likes on this video, I might just do something nice, something promotional, exclusive to YouTube. So hit that like button if you have not already. You guys see the title. Let's make some games. It's key if you ask me. I always put a lot of my tricep strength down to the extent of my close grip bench press. Back in the day when I first hit 100 kg, when I first hit it, it was very much a close grip bench press. Not quite that close, but it was close enough to warrant the comment section going nuts about a close grip bench press, thinking that I could bench 400 kilos if I went wide. <laughs> so, as some of you guys may or may not know, uh, I recently actually injured my knee. And when I say injured, I mean, I don't really know what I did or how I did it, but we did actually go to a physio and he diagnosed it as inflammation of the cartilage, right? So your knee kind of works like this, right? You're gonna be thinking, why are you doing talking about your knee on an arm? It will make sense in just a sec, bear with me, okay? Your knee works like this, right? And when you're moving your leg, when you bend and straighten your leg, your knee has this little bit in the middle, it's called cartilage, right? That bit in the middle softens the blow of essentially when you jump up and down, when you bend and flex your knee. So it's not just bone to bone, it softens it in, in a nutshell. That little bit, that little cartilage bit in the middle for me is inflamed or has been inflamed for about the past month now. And I keep just kind of nagging it and I've actually had to kind of stop training pretty much altogether. I've had a good few days where I've not done anything and it is actually better because I was kind of just training through it just doing seated work and all this kind of stuff it was no biggie as I thought anyway I was like oh just disappear I'm only young you know nah uh -uh. so I've had to do bugger all and that is actually the reason for today I have never done an arm day never today is meant to be a leg day for myself right so obviously I'm not going to be training legs right now I can hardly friggin you know, I can, that's about as far as I can go in terms of a squat. And if you see me squat, I squat deep, ass to grass. So, that's out the window. And I figured, why the hell not do my first ever tailored arm day? I've never gone into the gym. I've been training four years. Never once in these four years have I gone in and just done arms. I do have a couple of reasons for that. One of them being like, I enjoy going to the gym. And so me going to the gym to just do arms, I like doing the compound lifts, I like doing the squats, I like doing the benching and the shoulder pressing and stuff like that. So I don't see the point normally for myself, I'm not a professional bodybuilder, to go in and just do arms. Having said that, I'm willing to give it a go. And I am a bro, just like the rest of us, you know? So, without further ado, drop this video a like. I'm gonna be doing some kind of compounds, it'll make sense when we go through the video. But I'm excited, something a bit different. It's kind of my only option right now. I do feel the need to kind of explain, right? It's, go it's going really well, by the way, the session. I'm really enjoying myself. I'm not surprised one bit, but it's just something that I've, I've never done personally, you know? Um, but I feel the need to kind of explain why I've been training for so long in, in the manner that I have done, and I've never done a specific arm day. Um, number one, I've always had very strong triceps. I've always had very strong pushing movements, hence the, the strong overhead press. Strong triceps and strong shoulders mainly. My chest, not so much, but 
those areas in particular for me aren't really weak points. So I've never really felt the need to massively focus on it. That's thing number one. And reason number two is something that I think a lot of you guys could probably apply to your training. Um, I go to the gym for a bit of a hobby. I'm not a professional bodybuilder. I'm not a professional power lifter. I have no real aspiration to be. I'd love to compete one day, but you know, you won't find me competing to be Mr. Olympia or whatever. I'll just be doing it for the experience and stuff, you know? Most people, in my experience, that are like me and don't have any aspiration to be a pro or anything like that, sometimes they can struggle to get to the gym enough times to see consistent progress. So if one of those times, let's say you're following a four day plan or a five day plan, and one of those days is just arms, all of a sudden you're struggling to hit the rest of your muscle groups twice in one week, unless you are training five, six plus times a week. So I've always kind of gone by the logic of, if I'm only gonna to go to the gym five times a week, I don't want one of those days, an entire day where I could be focusing on my legs or I could be focusing on my chest, which if you ask me is a weak point of mine, I'm not gonna have an entire day where I could be improving those other areas and then tagging arms on at the end, when I could be improving my overall physique, which is actually what's gonna help me further down the line when it comes to progressing if I ever want to compete properly, you know? So before you go being a bit bro-ish and doing arm days and stuff just cause, bearing in mind most people will turn up and just do bicep curls and tricep extensions, Bear in mind that there's plenty more that you can be doing. You can do the close grip bench press. You can do close grip kind of supinated pull-ups. You know, that works more of your biceps rather than your lats. Of course, you're still working your lats, but you guys get the point. In the same way, dips. Of course, you're still working a bit of chest, but you are, depending on whether you're like this or whether you're like this, primarily working triceps over the chest. Things like this don't have to be boring and they can actually be used as something to mix up your training routine. And I have a lot of friends that do use arm days, utilize arm days, one, because they enjoy them, and two, because they have high hopes in, in terms of bodybuilding, you know, more so than, than I. But I definitely encourage you to ask yourself, dependent upon the goals, your specific goals, not Joe Blobs from down the street, I encourage you to think, do I need an arm day or is it just something that I'm doing for a bit of a, a pump, a bit of an ego boost, or could I put my energy elsewhere, you know? Now that of course is gonna be specific to everyone and everyone and what you feel like doing, what you wanna do, whether you go to the gym for a hobby or whether it's for a career, all of these kinds of things need to be taken into account. But having said all of that, everyone loves bicep curls, don't they? <laughs>
going to be the first day of 30 days straight of arm training for me, right? I figured it would just be a good video, if, if I'm honest. I'm doing it purely for content. Maybe I'll measure my arms tomorrow morning or something, and we'll just see. Well, I actually measured them the other day, but whether that measurement will be the same now, I don't know. I'm in a deficit. But let me know in the comment section. Would that be something that you would like to see? Is it something that you didn't be interested in? Is it not? Because obviously, I wouldn't like to train arms every single day for 30 days. It's a bit of a graft. But if you guys want to see the video, then I'll make the video, you know? Go give the people what they want. But that, in a nutshell, everybody, is that, okay? If you have enjoyed this video, do me a massive favor. Drop it a like, drop it a comment down below. Subscribe, if you are new. Together we will grow. Thank you all so much for your support, in particular, on yesterday's launch video. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. See, I can't, I, I can't unassisted lift my leg up like that. It's just, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of an odd situation. I'm looking forward to to getting it back to normal and building some big ass quads when when I can. You know, going to really start working on uh, rehab work and flexibility work and just overall health of my joints. I've been saying that I'm going to do that for a long, long time, uh, and I have done that. I have implemented that into my training slightly but not as much as I should. And now something like this happens, you know, really, really motivates you to, to do something about it, you know? Nothing like not being able to train a muscle group to make you want to train it like crazy, you know? So if you have enjoyed today's video, please do me a massive favor, drop it a like, drop it a comment, subscribe if you are new. Be sure to follow all of my social media. At LSJ underscore fitness is the main kind of Instagram. Media by LSJ is where I'll be showcasing all of my brand new visual media agency work. So some of the stuff that's on the Media by LSJ account, you won't actually see on the fitness account or on here because it will be specific to that kind of business. You know, if I'm if I'm just showcasing my work. It, anyway, go go and drop them both a follow. No one gives a shit. There's a video about training arms for God's sake. Anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate you all, and I will see you, a beautiful people, in the next one, which should be tomorrow. Sick. Bye. <laughs>